Hi there, my name's Charlie Hooper, I'm a systems engineer for Lance Stroll and I'm going to take you through the engineers island which you may have seen on TV and just give you an idea of what the roles are and what we're all doing. So first off my role, this is my station in the uh, session, I'm always going to be standing here and uh, essentially I've got two screens to look at, the top screen is a bit of a general information so we've got the GPS map, see where all the cars are on track CCTV which all teams have but it follows your own cars you can't see everyone else's but it follows ours so we can have a good idea of what's going on and just the normal F1 TV feed on the bottom we've got our data analysis software and uh, for me as I said I'm just looking at reliability um, not generally performance items but I've got multiple tabs I can look up to over 10,000 channels if I really want to of actual sensors and virtual sensors at the same time moving along so we've got the two race engineers, bit of a bit of a different setup for Williams versus the other teams. We've got Luca here and James here, and between them they split the two roles. So um, looking at performance issues for the driver and liaising with the driver, showing him overlays, and then also James will be managing the crew and the car at the same time. So he'll be working on the run plan, and then he'll be telling the number one mechanic when he wants to go to the front of the island. This is where the chief mechanic will be in the session. So Mark will have a good overview. He can look at both cars at the same time, see if there's any big issues that he's got any, and he can always liaise with both race engineers right at the front. Background down onto Sergei's side, so this is Sergei's crew setup for the engineers. Again, two race engineers, Paul here, Andrew here, and they're doing exactly the same thing. And you'll see, just to point out, we've got the intercom panels for everyone here, and uh, we've got up to 24 channels here that we can look at and talk to. There's obviously a lot of information going on and a lot of voices in your ears, so you've got to be a bit selective as to what you listen to here. A different position, just here, and that's where our trackside aero person will be. The trackside aero guys have got all the pressure tappings, front wing, rear wing, floor, loads on the car to have a look at, and they can compare that across both cars. They can have a look at all the data and see, is it performing as we expected? Is test data working? Have we got all the test items working at the same time? Just some general facts for this monster that we fly around the world. It's over a quarter of a ton in weight, so 250 kilos, so it costs quite a bit to ship it. There's a huge amount of wiring, including the garage wiring to get to this. We've got over a kilometre of wiring, so thankfully I don't have to do that wiring, but the garage technicians have got a lot of work on on setup days. It's our key kind of complaints counter, if you will, for the whole team. They'll come to us and we can communicate out to the cars and we've got a good view of everything. So. It's a bit of a key thing for us and it was a big upgrade when we bought it to the team in 2015. I hope you found that interesting and it's given you a bit more of an insight as to what we're doing in session and next time you see us on TV you have an idea of who we are and what we're doing.